after you've chosen your installation there and you've picked either a custom configuration or you want to do it after the fact, you've picked a folder. So in MicroStation, in the configuration folder, we have a configuration setup.cfg file that is located under the configuration folder. In the middle of that configuration uh, file, you'll see that USTN custom configuration already exists there and is, and is set. And it has up to the equal sign just waiting for you to put in your uh, pathway. So if at the time of installation, you choose to uh, pick your custom configuration and you browse to that and you pick that, it will automatically populate that with this, you know, populate this variable with that path to that network location or if you've chosen a folder, you created a folder there, it populates it to that folder. Then after the fact, you can take your configuration from your C drive. And if you've put in your organization standards, you've created your workspaces, your work sets and everything, then move them out to the network folder location and set this variable um, to that path. We recommend browsing in Windows Explorer to the pathway, select that path from there, copy and paste into here so that there minimizes the syntax errors with spelling, folders, slashes, helps minimize that. Then at the very end, when it's pasted in here, you want to make sure you put a slash on the, on the end there so it knows to open that it as a folder. Save this and your um, configuration will load from now your network location. Now new in Connect Update 17, we have added a Manage Configuration dialog box. So this will allow you to create custom configurations and manage them from this dialog box. The dialog box looks like this. And in here you can add, edit, and delete configurations from this dialog box. And at the time when you do your installation, you will see here in the middle, it says custom configuration. That was added during that time, picking a configuration on the network. And here it points to a network drive. And these, you see the one below it as well, points to the same network location. They can be separate or they can be in, in the same location. It, it, it doesn't matter. So here they're both on the E drive. One could be a J, one could be a P. It, it doesn't matter you know, where they're located that way. So in here then, when you open up and edit this, you can then make changes to the, the naming of it and, and so forth. So here we have coming up a demonstration of just doing that, the renaming, the editing, adding, and we can watch this. Here you will see your custom configuration, which you chose during installation. Now, if you go into the Manage Configuration dialog box, which is new as of Update 17, this does allow you to add, edit, and delete configurations. And you can have multiple configurations now uh, with MicroStation Update 17 and easily be able to manage those and set up your workspaces and work sets according to your configuration and your projects, uh, company standards, whatever it is you need. So this should be a big help in uh, allowing you to switch from one configuration to another and the workspaces you need. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.